Welcome to an Orcs Den review. And today something we're gonna be testing is Better Alanine. See it? So first of all for better alanine, what is better alanine? Well, better alanine is part of an amino acid which has been shown to reduce fatigue in the muscles during workouts. I'm not gonna say any more to it, that's it. This video is a review on the actual supplement itself, okay? I've done it for six weeks. This is a six week trial and, and step by step through week, week and the month, I'm gonna talk you through what I found from it, the side effects, or was any positives from it. But rule one, to tell if it's good shit or not, that's some street slime. Get a bit of the powder and just <coughs> be taking better on him, boy. Of course, you can also line it. <coughs> okay, so a lot of people recommend to take better on his part of your workout. It's kind of like a creatine supplement. What one would do when cycling free better on is take around about three to five grams a day. Five grams is the, the daily recommended. Now, Unlike creatine, no loading phase is needed. Bella aniline, once you start supplement, it should work within around five to six day range, you should start feeling the effects. The benefits of it essentially is to reduce fatigue. So that means to say that on seventh, eight rep, it should help you get about one to two eight reps out more extra in, in your sets. The reason for this is because it acts as amino acid, it's gonna reduce the fatigue and the lactic acid buildup on your muscles. Now, I did this for a six week review. So you don't have to. In this review today, I what how I find it. What did I find good about it? Was there any side effects? And better alanine, as you know, can have some side effects. Um, it is one of the main ingredients found in most pre-workouts, so it's generally the thing that makes pre-workouts tingly. Tingly. Okay, so day one, I started taking better alanine. The first thing I realized was, I was going to the gym. It was about half five. I took the, the bed alanine and I got into my car. Three minutes down the road, there was a junction, I was waiting to turn out. It was very silent, I had no music on, it was just silent, waiting on the cars for me to go, okay? And then I realized that I just, I just burst into laughter. I just burst into laughter by myself, no one around, laughing at nothing. And then I was self-aware, and then I twigged on that I was laughing at myself. And then I talked to myself in the car. I started saying to myself, Carl, you're talking to yourself. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you talking to yourself, Carl? Day two of better alanine binge. I noticed that it's not a good idea to take it at half seven in the morning before going to work. I don't know why I did this. I wasn't going to train that day. I thought I'd take it. It's just something that goes on, but right side of my leg went numb. And my drive to work is about an hour in slow traffic, which wasn't a good idea. So when I got out, I was kind of a bit like Quasimodo that half his leg turned into a vegetable and he was in a vegetated state and he couldn't ring the bells anymore because the leg was fucked. Not a good idea. That's noted. Do not take it in the morning. Day three in better alanine binge. Day three, I developed Parkinson's disease for most of the day, around about at least 20 hours. And then it shortly disappeared at the end of the day. Day seven, day of the Lord, it was a Sunday, it was a shoulder day, hallelujah! It was shoulder day. It worked as a, basically as a pre-workout for me more than this day, more than anything. It gave me a pretty good pump before I let Aaron Ron into my veins. Hmm. But it did work more as a pre-workout, so I got more tingly from it and stuff, and it was a bit more active, but nothing really in terms of less fatigue or anything like that there. It did affect me, however, when I was doing my prayers that later on that night. Praying to Lord Gaines. Jesus, I just want to thank you for these games, these wonderful games. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, so pumped. Thank you. And thank you for the veins. I just, I want to thank you. So let's skip on to the side effects and pro effects throughout the week. So week two, nothing major yet. However, my chest workout that I do every Tuesday usually consists of dumbbell press on incline and decline. I usually end these with 44 kilo dumbbells in each hand for around about five to seven reps. Now this session I got seven. It was pretty of ease and confidence to be fair. However, it's hard to say this was the bed alanine or not. Statistically speaking, this was about a week on, two weeks on. So 
it depends. Some chest days are easier, some chest days are, 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 are more difficult. It's probably more akin that I just aligned my food in such a particular way that day with fats that I got more energy out of it. The next day, the circuits class I got to every week, I lasted much longer. Generally, with the intense cardio, I zap very easy because I'm much heavier and I have big breasts. But this time around, I lasted much longer. Private, again, was it because the bread allen acted more as a pre-workout than anything? Perhaps. Thankfully, by the end of week two, the cycle mental episode had ended. And I stopped laughing randomly to myself. None of that. The screaming in my head, though, didn't really stop it. It's always there. Week three, however, this brought no change to performance at all. I didn't see any effect at all. Only I started getting headaches quite severely every day. These were leaving me fatigued, drained, and very tired. Again, it's hard to say if this was from the bed allening. I've never heard of anyone getting headaches from it. I've done quite a bit of research and I've never heard of it. But it's important to note these lasted for two months. And I recently stopped when I stopped taking the thing. So, you know, give you a coincidence. I'll be honest, by this point after this, which was present, I didn't feel any less fatigued. However, again, using it as a pre-workout for workouts, it worked three, three out of five times of the time, all the time. Sex Panther. Which wasn't really bad, considering I was only getting around five hours sleep per night at this point. So, it worked well. Bed allening does really work well as a pre-workout, I'll give it that. Week four to six, honestly, same sessions out of the week. Maybe felt a bit more stronger. Maybe the last week or two of the cycle, I upped my fats and my diet though around this time. So I think that's why I felt a bit stronger, more energetic. The pre-workout side of things started to work one to two times out of five now with a quicker crash within like 10 minutes. So the effects for me started to become less and less. The conclusion, if I'm honest, was that better alanine. Personally, for me, I didn't see any real changes at all. I didn't see any reducing fatigue or anything like that. Granted, it was a six week cycle. That was it. And some recommend using this along with creatine to get more of the benefits out of it. But with research in this product, within one to two weeks, you should start seeing changes. Personally, I didn't. However, this product here is very cheap, especially from Go Nutrition's website. I got this for five pound. Personally, I'd use this as a cheap pre-workout. This works just as well as it, if, if not one of the best pre-workouts actually for this, because it gives you that tingly numb feeling. Then you start getting a wee bit excited, a wee bit horny. Then you start just lifting more weights. Now, I didn't really see the side effects that I got from pre-workouts. Now, yes, I did get some tingliness and some headaches, but as far as jitters go, didn't have these. Maybe one or two days got the jitters, but after that, it kind of went away. However, the only reason I probably got the shakes was because I mixed this stuff with a bit of pre-workout as well. So it's kind of it. I mean, I guess if you take ketamine, you're going to suffer the consequences. So final words, should you buy this product? For five pound, from if you get it from Go Nutrition, yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, it's five pound, and of course, research anything before you buy it. Just don't listen to me, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it has no real health effects or anything like that if you take it. I've seen it work great for many people, so just give it a go yourself. Again, personally, it didn't really work for me, more as a pre-workout, but if anything, it'll motivate you more in the gym anyway. Sometimes when you get more new supplements to try, you're more motivated in some ways, in most ways, in every way. So, better alanine, I'll give it 3.2 out of 5. The reason it's 0.2 is because, again, very good pre-workout. But listen, it's crystallized, it's quantified, it's verified. <laughs>